So children, uh, if you remember, then uh, you have to answer here, which are the major rock forming minerals? Means if you remember uh, in the first or in second session, we had seen that there are a few major uh, minerals which generally found in rocks. Okay, so which are the major rock forming minerals? Children try to understand. We had seen that first type of rock and how rock are formed. That also we had learned. So if you remember, a few major type of minerals generally found in rocks. So what are those major minerals which found in rocks? Can any Sir. of you answer? Yes. Soil. Soil is not mineral. Okay. So, so yes. diamond, quartz. Ah. Okay, those are the types of rock. Diamond is also type of rock. But minerals means uh, from which minerals we get metal. Okay, so those means mineral. So like we can uh, say here, uh, iron, aluminium, magnesium, silica, this type of major, major mineral generally found in rocks. Okay, so these are the minerals. Which are the minerals? Uh, magnesium, aluminum, silica, iron. So these are the main major minerals which generally found in rocks. Okay, uh, now children, second question. What are the three types of rock? Sedimentary rock, metamorphic rock, Igneous rock. Very good. Igneous rock, sedimentary rock, and last one is metamorphic rock. Okay. Uh, so, children say the first, very first type of rock is igneous rock. So, uh, children, you have to answer here why is igneous rock is also known as primary rock? Why is igneous rock also known as primary rock? Igneous rock also known as primary rock, but why? What uh, would be the reason behind it? In part... Because of magma and lava. Yes, very good. Because, because of its formation process. Because see, children, if you see... Wait a minute. If you uh, study, means we had studied the internal part of the earth, okay, or internal layer of the earth. So if you go inside of the earth, then what do we, what do we find? Then uh, we find three layers, okay, three layers. So see, this is the structure of in, uh, earth's interior. So the earth's interior is divided in three parts. So that is crust mantle and core. So see children, why igneous rock is also known as uh, uh, primary rock? Because see children, there are three types of rock that is igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic. So out of these three, igneous rock is formed by lava or magma. So that is why this rock is known as uh, 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 primary rock, okay. But uh, other than uh, sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock, uh, the, they, those rock form from only igneous rock. That is why igneous rock is known as uh, uh, primary rock. Okay. So uh, some picture also, uh, also you can see here. So this is the picture of Sayadri or Maharashtrian plateau. So this is the uh, this uh, uh, plateau is made up of only igneous rock. Okay, why? Because igneous rock is very hard that we had learned in last meeting. So uh, second question was that uh, interior of the earth. So how many layers are there in the interior of the earth? So as I told you in the beginning, there are three layers of uh, in the interior of the earth. So those are means uh, crust means if we go from uppermost to uh, up from upward to downward in the in, inside of the earth. Then uh, the uppermost layer is crust up to that mantle and core. Core is also in two parts, that is outer core and inner core. 
why we are uh, discussing about the interior of the earth because interior of the earth is also uh, related to the formation of rocks okay so igneous rock is formed from the uh, uh, lava or magma that is why uh, it is also known as uh, primary rock students uh, now the last question is uh, what is volcano what can you say what is volcano so as you see as you can see on the screen you have to defi define here what is volcano what how can we answer what is volcano what do you think just look at the picture and tell me what is volcano hello children please look at the screen and tell me what is volcano sir, what do you think ha that it blast over okay any other student hmm. but how does it come out of the earth and why does it call volcano volcano that is v sir. yes sir uh, yes i am uh, listening volcano volcano is a, a mountain with a hole create a top drop which stream hot molten rock lava fire etc sometimes uh -huh. come out very good very good so uh, as you said that lava uh, after that uh, molten material after that uh, uh, small pieces of rocks so these are the material which are included or which are the part of volcano but now what is volcano so see children as you can see on the screen in the first picture to the left hand side of uh, of the screen Uh, so there is uh, one type of volcano volcanic eruption and in the right hand side there you may find different type of volcanic eruption so what is the difference between this two picture and first of all what is volcano means it is the interior of the earth is very hot there is very high temperature okay almost uh, uh, more than 5000 degree celsius temperature is there in inner core so due to the high temperature in the interior of the earth all the materials means like rock or whatever is there uh, in the inner core or outer core it get molten it gets molten that is why uh, and sometimes due to the pressure due to the uh, high pressure in the core of the earth so this molten material uh, uh, tries to come out on the surface of the earth so when it comes through a vein or a chamber to the surface of the earth so that time it is known as volcano okay okay and sometime it it's come uh, through the fissures or cracks of the rocks okay means uh, in the rock we may find cracks or fissure so the, when it comes through the cracks or fissure so that time uh, it, it also known as volcanic eruption so these are the two types of volcanic eruption sometime it comes through a vein so that time uh, uh, it is known as volcanic eruption and in second also um, it it can also come through uh, or flow through cracks of uh, rocks okay so these all the concept we had seen in last two period so our today's uh, today in in today's session we will see that uh, two remaining part uh, of uh, types of rock so which are those so we'll start from sedimentary rock what is the sedimentary rock okay and uh, one more remain that is metamorphic rock so first type of rock we had seen that that was igneous rock igneous rock also known as primary rock why it is also known as primary rock because the reason is that it forms from the molten material which come out from the inner interior of the earth on the surface of the earth so when it comes and it uh, uh, it gets uh, solid uh, solidified on the uh, surface of the earth so that time uh, it is known as igneous rock and uh, that is only uh, primary rock so now second type of rock is that sedimentary rock so as you can see in the screen uh, uh, here is a, for here is the process of formation of sedimentary rock so what the factors uh, what the natural factors are there which uh, uh, plays an important role which play an important role in the formation of sedimentary rock so first is weathering erosion deposit compaction uh, cementation and finally 
sedimentary rock get formed okay so this is all the steps we will see step by step so what is weathering what is, what is erosion how it uh, how it uh, um, uh, happen that also we'll see deposition compaction cementation and final product that means sedimentary rock so this all the natural factors affect or play an important role to form sedimentary rock so we'll see one by one but before that uh, we have to uh, take one more question related to igneous rock because we have to understand what is igneous rock and then only we'll understand the formation of sedimentary rock children last time i could ask you one question we don't get fossil in igneous rock so can you state here why why don't we get or why don't we find fossil in igneous rock what do you think i have stated here we don't find fossil in igneous rock so why don't we find or why don't we get fossils in igneous rock first thing what is the fossils fossils means see children the uh, remaining part of uh, buried plants or uh, animals okay means in olden days there were uh, very huge animals like dinosaur uh, and uh, uh, other animals so due to the uh, we can say that uh, natural phenomenon or uh, natural disasters so these huge animals and plants they get they got buried into the ground so uh, up to a thousand of year they uh, transform uh, transform in fossils so those only those are only fossils so uh, as i stated that we don't find fossil in igneous rock so what would be the reason behind it what can you tell what would be the reason we don't find the fossil in igneous rock what would be the reason can you tell here can you answer yes children so see i will only answer yes yes beta because igneous rock is very hard superb excellent excellent so see children first of all we should know the properties of igneous rock so we can say that igneous rock is very hard okay very hard and it is also very heavy and homogeneous homogeneous now what is the homogeneous homogeneous means this uh, all the types of igneous rocks are forming same time that is why they are homogeneous okay means volcanic eruption happen in uh, same time that is why igneous rock is also known as homogeneous rock and uh, there are many uh, types of igneous rock but the major type is basalt okay basalt rock is only the major example of igneous rock now sedimentary rock so as i told you that these are the natural factor which effect in the formation of sedimentary rock weathering erosion compaction deposition and cementation so see children what is weathering so in weathering wind is the uh, natural factor which effect on, uh, on the weathering of rocks means if the if air flows in uh, greater speed so automatically there uh, may happen weathering of rock means the rock will uh, break in small particles due to the wind weathering okay after that erosion so erosion means uh, we can say that uh, uh, due to the uh, uh, what can we say that due to the flowing of water due to the high temperature okay so this uh, rock also uh, break in small particles so this type of also erosion can happen there and this is also one of the natural factor uh, which play an important role in the formation of sedimentary rock after that deposit deposition so what is the deposition so deposition means see children if the flowing water store at one place okay one place that is means river flows to flows over to the sea okay or ocean so ocean and sea are the storage of water huge storage of water so due to the storing of that water automatically the rocks uh, also uh, uh, we can say that goes down or they uh, breaks in small particle and automatically they dissolve in the water so when they dissolve in the water automatically they depo uh, deposit there deposit uh, under the water okay so that is also one of the natural factor which play an important role 
after that compaction okay so what is the compaction uh, now compaction means uh, the uh, if uh, storage of water means uh, at the bank uh, banks of river okay or uh, uh, on the uh, side of uh, pond or any other uh, where is the uh, storage of water at the at those places due to the water the side goes back okay because there is also happen erosion of soil and due to the compaction uh, the uh, soil or the rock also get uh, uh, a break down okay so due to this natural factor also uh, 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 it also helps in the formation of sedimentary rock after that cementation cementation means and when the water uh, flows uh, into the river or glacier or small streams so uh, small small particles of rock they flows with water okay finally they flows with water and finally this all the particles means from the wind weathering from the weathering uh, uh, automatically uh, the rocks get uh, uh, break down into the small particle after that due to the flowing of water they flows to the uh, low laying area okay low laying area means to the uh, uh, to the down layer of the ground and finally the depo uh, deposit or compaction this process also happen there and finally uh, with the water when this small particle come to the storage where the water store so finally they they cement uh, means sediment there sediment there okay means they store there and after the uh, after the few years or after a long time when these all particles uh, they gather at one place they deposit there and finally sedimentary rock forms there okay so one by one we'll see all the factors okay how they affect uh, in and how they play the roles in the formation of rock okay so see due to the continuous variation in the temperature rock develop rocks okay sorry rocks develop cracks okay so now see children temperature is also one of the uh, main factor or main natural factor which uh, play an important role in the formation of sedimentary rock so how does the temperature effect on the rocks so if uh, there is daily changes in the temperature means uh, uh, sometime it may be high sometime it may be low means in summer days you can uh, you can see that you can observe that there is high temperature so due to the high temperature automatically um, uh, if the temperature uh, increase in atmosphere so it effects on the rock and rocks uh, uh, rocks uh, breaks in uh, parts or we can say that there develops uh, cracks into the rocks so, so as you can see in the picture so this is the huge rock but due to the high temperature e there you you can find cracks in the rock okay so similarly so now this this is happened because of the high temperature but similarly uh, you can see in this picture the water is flowing out of the out of the rock so how it happened because of the cracks okay because crack uh, uh, crack uh, uh, find there or the rock uh, got cracked because of the high temperature so after cracking the cracking in the rocks so water can also flow out of the rock so similarly the water percolating through rocks dissolves the soluble minerals okay when the water flows through the rocks so or a cracks of the rock so all the minerals which are in the rock because we all know that rock is the uh, collection of minerals it is made up of minerals only or storage of mineral so that is why when the water flows or percolate out of the rock so all the minerals uh, dissolve in that water and uh, uh, it flows with water okay and children see this process is only leads to the weathering of rock okay so this temperature or flowing of water uh, into the crack of rock this process only leads to the weathering of rock and after that what happens we all know that uh, due to the due to this all type of weathering the uh, rock means uh, sedimentary rock or any type of rock uh, get disintegrated or decomposed disintegrated means only to break down into the small pieces and it gets reduced to pieces okay and uh, finally this rock uh, 
rock uh, break down into the small pieces and uh, and due to the continuous weathering process these small pieces also uh, uh, break down in fine particles and these rock particles get transported by rivers so see here this rock means small particles they flow with water in, into the river uh, glacier wind etc towards the low lying areas and are deposited there means with the uh, water into the river up to that uh, uh, glaciers glaciers mean to the right hand side of your uh, your mobile screen so that is glacier glaciers means river of ice you can say in easy language and uh, due to the weathering these small particles uh, they, they flows with water of river and up with the water of a glacier and finally uh, one after the other layer of sedimentary get deposited in this way so in this way uh, the uh, the layers of uh, sedimentary rock get deposited there and uh, all the layer you can find easily of sedimentary rock okay children so this was the process of formation of sedimentary rock so uh, these were the natural factors which effect or which play an important role in the formation of sedimentary rock and uh, uh, it only leads to the compaction of material and development of sedimentary rock okay uh, so the layers of sedimentary rock can be seen easily children see we cannot find the layers of igneous rock because that is very hard or heavy but as you can see here this is the picture of sedimentary rock so the layers of sedimentary rock can be seen easily uh, why because this rock uh, is made up of small or fine particles so that is why uh, that is means only of soil okay so that is why we can see the uh, layers of sedimentary rock easily okay so the layers of sedimentary rock can be seen easily while getting deposited the remains of dead animals means see as i told you in the beginning uh, we can find fossil in the sedimentary rock why what is the reason behind it because while getting the deposited the uh, remains of dead animals or plants get buried in the layers at time you see in the first picture to the left hand side of your mobile screen so there you can see at the bottom level of that picture so there you can see the skeleton of uh, one animal uh, okay so that is only fossil so uh, how can we find uh, fossil in the sedimentary rock because uh, sedimentary rock is very um, we can say that sedimentary rock is not hard okay so that is why in olden days when if there is any animal body or huge plants uh, part so they could uh, uh, buried easily in sedimentary rock so after a long time or after a thousand of year so those uh, parts or parts of animal or uh, plants they can be remain as it is in the sedimentary rock so we can find them in the form of fossils okay so children this is the only reason which uh, we uh, can find fossil in the sedimentary rock and as the character of the sedimentary how can we uh, how can we understand that this is the sedimentary rock or this is the igneous rock so sedimentary rock is brittle or lightweight brittle means uh, which is hard but it is it can be broken easily okay means sedimentary rock is not is, uh, sediment rock is also hard but it can be break, it can be broken in small pieces easily okay means we can break to the sediment rock but as uh, compared with uh, sediment rock uh, igneous rocks cannot be broken in small particle easily okay because igneous rock is very hard and uh, sediment rock is also hard but it can be broken okay so that is the reason uh, 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 we can find fossil in the sediment rock and also it is very lightweight means sediment rock the pieces of sediment rocks are very lightweight okay they are, they are not heavy most of them are porous okay porous means what is the porous means such a done uh, most means there are a few types of sediment rock so most of these sediment rocks some uh, types of sediment rock are porous porous means uh, through this sediment rock water can flow 
water can flow through this sedimentary rock so that is why they are also known as porous so in this sedimentary rock uh, we can find some types of sedimentary rock so what are those we'll see here uh, see let me open my textbook so from there only we'll see uh, are some a uh, few types of sedimentary rock okay so in those types of sedimentary rock sandstones are there sandstone means in river bed if you find so there you can find sandstones sandstones this is also one of the types of sedimentary rock and uh, up to that uh, limestone shale corals so etc are the sedimentary rock so you can uh, see this in picture uh, you can search on the internet uh, what are the sandstones so this is one of the type of sedimentary rock up to that limestone shell corals so these all the types are all are the types of sedimentary rock so see children on the in our text in our textbook it is given there fossil okay so uh, here fossil means the the buried remains of dead animal or plants become subject to heavy pressure okay as a result their impressions get marked in the rocks at times the buried animals or plants get uh, petrified petrified these are called fossil the study of fossil provides information about the life in that period means children uh, what are the uses of this fossil means if you, if we get any fossil in sedimentary rock so with the help of that fossil we can find the time of that remaining uh, part of that animal means we can find the time of that animal when he when the animal was exist existed okay so that we can find you know, with the help of this fossil and already i have explained that how can we how do we find fossil in the sedimentary rock and why can we only get fossil in sedimentary rock as compared with igneous rock that also i could explain you so the buried remain dead animals or plant become subject to heavy pressure means such a run due to the heavy pressure so this uh, animals buried animals or plants they remain as it is in the sedimentary rock means their skeleton remain only other parts uh, it, uh, that get dissolved with uh, uh, with uh, soil or water okay so as a result their impression get mark in the rocks means uh, not only their skeleton but also uh, due to the pressure their marks means their marks means their structure that print on the soil that print on the soil so in this picture you can see it is printed that is not skeleton of the fish but it is printed on the sedimentary rock okay so at times the buried animals from uh, plants get petrify petrified uh these are called only fossil okay so now children see do you know so here is a question that you have to answer so as you can see this is red fort which is in delhi okay which is in our uh, capital of india that is delhi near jaipur city in rajasthan red stone is found this is this is a type of sedimentary rock this rock was used for construction of red fort at delhi so a sandstone is relatively soft it is heavy to curve uh, car in it okay so see children red fort is uh, made up of red sandstone so red stand sandstone means as we have studied that sandstone is one of the one of the type of sedimentary rock so this red fort is built of sandstone and where it is found so this is a type of sediment rock this rock was used in the construction of the red fort at delhi as i told you that red fort is uh, uh, is in delhi okay so sandstone is one of the type of sediment rock it is very uh, soft and easy to carve it carve it means uh, uh, we can change its shape okay or we can uh, make design on this rock okay so it is very soft that is why it is used in the uh, in the uh, building of red fort now last type is metamorphic rock so now what is the metamorphic rock okay i ho i hope that you have understood uh, what is sedimentary rock or what is igneous rock okay and how they formed okay 
so now what, uh, what is metamorphic rock so see volcanic activity in other earth movement constantly take place on the earth okay uh, in the beginning of this session only we discussed that what is volcanic activity and this process or this movement they go they go continually or they happen continually on the surface of the earth or constantly they take place uh, on take place on the earth so while these are occurring means what volcanic activity and other uh, earth movement okay uh, so the igneous and sedimentary rocks in that region are subjected to tremendous pressure on heat so due to this volcanic activity and other movement so sedimentary rocks in the region are subjected to tremendous pressure and heat means uh, igneous rock or sedimentary rock they uh, subjected to tremendous pressure and heat tremendous means a huge heat and pressure okay means on the igneous rock or on the sedimentary rock so uh, there uh, there is high uh, pressure or uh, high uh, means uh, tremendous heat okay due to the uh, pressure or due to the heat so this leads to the changes in the in the nature as well as uh, the chemical composition of the original rocks means which are the original rocks igneous rock and sedimentary rocks are known as original rocks so due to the tremendous pressure and he high heat okay means high temperature so uh, there it uh, we can find the changes in the shape of the uh, or not only shape but in the chemical composition of the original rocks means original rock means that only igneous rock and um, sedimentary rock so the crystals in the original rocks get recrystallized means and due to the changes of chemical composition in original rock so the crystals in the original rock uh, they get recrystallized okay this means the rock get metamorphosed and the rocks form through such a process are called metamorphic so uh, if, with the help we, in this process in this uh, formation when this uh, metamorphic form there so those are only uh, metamorphic rock these rocks do not contain fossil these rocks are heavy and hard okay so metamorphic rock also uh, 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 don't contain fossils okay why because these rock also heavy and hard as igneous rock so uh, here is uh, a table is given here below so that we will study and we will understand what are the metamorphoses okay so children that you have to remember in igneous rock and in metamorphic rock we don't find a fossil but in sedimentary rock we find fossils okay so what is the reason that i could explain you so here is a chart or table it is given here that we will study and we will try to understand what is metamorphosis okay so in this chart in the first column that is given igneous okay igneous so which is the main rock or original rock so in the igneous that is granite okay and it photo is given there so that is Uh, uh photo of granite and that is the original rock and from this original rock which rock is formed that is uh, nis okay so nis is the uh, metamorphic rock okay nis that is the metamorphic rock so it is formed from the granite and granite is the igneous rock after that uh, second at the second place that is given igneous rock so that is the basalt and basalt is the major uh, uh, type of or uh, means uh, we can find it in uh, major quantity that is why it is the main type of uh, igneous rock basalt and it is very hard okay uh, we can we know that uh, maharashtrian plateau and the uh, hills in this area so it it uh, these all are form of the basalt type of rock so from the basalt type of rock ampibolite this metamorphic rock is um, formed okay up to the sedimentary rock limestone uh, and marble marble is the metamorphic rock it is formed from the limestone which is the sedimentary rock up to the sedimentary coal coal is also sedimentary rock and diamond is formed from the uh, coal and coal is the sedimentary rock okay you have to remember that up to that sedimentary rock sand sandstone and uh, quartz quartzite uh, it is formed from the sandstone and sandstone is the sedimentary rock all the pictures are given here and with the help of this picture you can understand what are the sedimentary rock and what are the metamorphic rock and how metamorphic rocks are formed that also 
you can read uh, in your textbook after that shell so slit is made up of shell uh, and uh, the original rock is shell and the metamorphic rock is slit okay so children in this way you can understand that metamorphic rock is not a original rock it is it is uh, it can be formed from the igneous or sedimentary rock okay so that you can uh, understand with the help of this table or with the help of this chart uh, pictures are given here so at the last of the uh, lesson we can uh, see this picture we can find this picture coal gets metamorphized when it undergoes undergoes heavy pressure and intense heat okay after coal gets metamorphized into diamond it its price increases we burn coal while we use diamonds as ornaments okay so see children uh, diamond is the uh, metamorphic rock and it is made up of coal and, uh, and coal is only sediment ha uh, uh, sedimentary rock okay so but when we use diamond as a ornament when we burn coal okay so while used diamonds as ornaments means first of all we need to burn coal and after that only we get diamond as an ornament okay so uh, this was the process of uh, meta uh, the formation of metamorphic rock from the original rocks and which are the original rock igneous rocks and sedimentary rock okay so see children here is the picture do you know so it is here the taj mahal at agra is built in marble so uh, taj mahal which is in which uh, is in agra agra city uh, there is also one uh, we can say the copy of taj mahal that is in Ar aurangabad in maharashtra so it is also like taj mahal only uh, but that is not taj mahal okay so original taj mahal is in agra and it is made up of marble and we all know that marble is a metamorphic rock this rock was brought from mines in makrana in rajasthan so see children uh, this taj mahal is made up of uh, or built in marble marble is metamorphic rock and this marble uh, this metamorphic rock was brought from mines mines means where we get uh, means uh, there is a process of mining mining means to digging the ground okay to get different types of minerals or uh, 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 or we can say that uh, uh, metallic ore okay Min minerals ore also we can say so they, uh, if we want to get this all then we have to do uh, uh, we have to make this type of mines okay so in rajasthan makrana area is there so there is the mine of uh, this marble so from there only this uh, marble we are brought to build to build this taj mahal so when realize realizes while taking a boat ride in river narbada through uh, bheda ghat gorg in madhya pradesh that the river has cut its uh, its jaws gorg uh, through marble rock at sunrise sunset and during full moon nights this river bank present an enchanting scene okay so see children uh, so this is due, uh, this is also uh, create means this river is also uh, created due to the weathering of rock okay so this is for your information you can read and you can understand okay so you have to understand that taj mahal is made in marble and marble is one of the type of metamorphic rock okay so here is also given an extra information that is the map of madhya pradesh okay madhya pradesh is the state of india okay so distribution of major rocks in maharashtra list the and uh, here is the map of maharashtra after that uh, to the uh, north side there is madhya pradesh here is uh, other states are also there so here in this map what is given here 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 is, it is shown that the distribution of major rock major rock means igneous rock and sedimentary rock okay so uh, in the index we can see basalt rock in it is in uh, light black color granite which is in dark black color uh, laterite which is in red color and in yellow color that is sedimentary rock 
okay so with the help of this index you can uh, study that uh, the major part of the maharashtra is made up of basalt rock and basalt is the ig igneous rock okay means see how many districts are there which are uh, which are covered with basalt rock so uh, almost uh near means all the means uh, a few districts are there which are made up of granite rock okay where we can find granite or uh, laterite means in sindhudurga there we can find only laterite so why can we find laterite types of rock in sindhudurga because sindhudurga is heavy rainfall region so due to the heavy rainfall there is, there we can find red soil okay and why do we find red soil in sindhudurga because of heavy rainfall and there is laterite type of rock okay sedimentary rock we can find in nandurbar nandurbar uh, amravati akola okay so there you can see sedimentary rock is in very uh, low portion in maharashtra but the uh, large portion of maharashtra is covered under basalt type of rock okay so uh, maharashtra where rocks other than basalt are found the basalt rock formed out of volcanic eruption has spread over a vast region of our state granite rock is found in the eastern part and the south konkan laterite is found in south konkan because of thick and extensive layers of basalt maharashtra does not have large re reserves of mineral wealth therefore mining activities concentrated in south konkan uh, and in eastern maharashtra okay so see children the large part of maharashtra is made up of only basalt type rock that is why we cannot get uh, the minerals uh, at all the places of maharashtra but we can find that we get minerals in eastern maharashtra in uh, at the some part of uh, south maharashtra and in the western maharashtra that is mumbai okay so there only we get uh, minerals okay so this is the distribution of major rock types in maharashtra okay so from this you can understand that the maharashtrian plateau is made up of basalt type rock and basalt type rock is the igneous rock okay so at the last we can see use your brain power that is find the meaning of this line from a famous marathi poem okay what is that rakat desha kankar desha dagadancha hi desha what do you think children use your brain power and tell me why this line is written like this means rakat desha kankar desha dagadancha desha ye kyu likha hoga at the last i will I, i can ask you in hindi so i want to answer from you that is rakat desha kankar desha dagadancha desha why uh, uh, this was uh, mentioned or described ye kyu bola ho gaya who will tell me children tell me what would be the meaning of this line and why the line is mentioned to describe the maharashtra describe maharashtra hello children can you answer what would be the meaning of yeah. this line ha huh? from my side i am telling yes ha huh, yes better yes yes i think the whole lesson is about rock that's why here that this line is mentioned but why it is mentioned but i could not understand could you please repeat me sir i am telling huh. this whole lesson is about rock that's why here this line is mentioned okay okay very good very good any other student wants to try here why it is mentioned why this line is given at the end of the lesson what sir this line is given this is the this line is uh, Uh, from a poem which is very poem in, famous poem in marathi rakat desha kankar desha dagadancha desha so why this line is given in geography what would be the uh, uh, purpose behind it sir kankar desha that is also rock mm -hmm. sir this yes. line is a important line for what for what For what it is an important line. So, children, we can say that the Maharashtra, Maharashtran plateau means major part of Maharashtra is made up of basalt, and basalt is a very hard rock, and it is an it is an igneous rock. That is why 
That is why this line is described to describe our Maharashtra. What is that? Rakat Desha means very powerful, powerful. Uh, 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 we can say that uh, state, powerful state. Okay, Kankar Desha, strong. Dagdancha Desha means this Maharashtra is made of hard rock. That is why this line is mentioned here. Okay. Uh, at the last, I would like to ask you to read what is laterite. Who will read laterite? Read that. Can I read? Yes, Beta. Yes, Can please. Yes, Let one of you. One of you. Huh? In the coastal region of Konkan in Maharashtra, we find laterite rock. It is found especially in Ratnagiri and Situ Durga. District. District. Very good, Chida. Then, Chida, what do you think that uh, we get only laterite rock in Sindhudurga and Ratnagiri? What would be the reason? Why do we get uh, this type of rock in these two districts only? What do you think? Because children, Ratnagiri and Sindhudurga, these both the districts are the part of Konkan region, and Konkan region is also known as for heavy rainfall region. So due to the heavy rainfall region, there we find red soil and laterite is the sedimentary rock. So this rock is formed due to the heavy rainfall. Okay. So due to the heavy rainfall, we find laterite rock in Ratnagiri and Sindhu Durga district in Maharashtra. Okay. So that is only reason. What will you do? So Ajit is interested in sculpting. Sculpting. He wants to prepare a sculpture. Of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. He cannot decide which rock he should use for his um, for this igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic. What will be your advice? So, can you advise Ajit to use what type of rock to make uh, a, cult, a sculpture of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam? Which yes. rock he should use? Huh? Yes, Beta? Sculpture, sculpting, and sculpture. Uh, a sculpture beta means uh, we can say a statue. Okay, means uh, uh, we can use a type of rock to make a small uh, frame or a picture, picture not, but statue we can say. Igneous rock. I rock. rock. How beta? Because Igneous it is rock. hard. That is hard. But beta sculpture rock, sculpture, think again. Ignis, <laughs> Ignis rock is hard. Yes, that is hard and the sculpture can be made uh, hard and uh, it will remain for a long time. Like that you are thinking, na? Yes. But beta, uh, see, uh, but uh, here, as you can see in this picture, the, the raid fort, after the Taj Mahal, these were built in, built of uh, uh, metamorphic rock. So, uh, so why do you want to uh, suggest that only the uh, means Ajit should use igneous rock? Means igneous and sedimentary rock, they are the original rocks. Okay. So we cannot use them as it is to make sculpture. And metamorphic rock is also hard. As you are telling that, sir, igneous rock is very hard, but metamorphic rock is also very hard and heavy. So why? Why don't you want to uh, suggest metamorphic rock? Yes, na? So almost time is uh, over. So this was the last topic. So you can suggest metamorphic rock. So see children, at the last, I want to tell you that only to make sculpture and different buildings, we have to use only metamorphic rock. Okay, metamorphic rock. We can use to build sculpture and to make sculpture and buildings. So I can, I can do this, means uh, understand the types of rock, tell the use of rock, tell the distribution of rock in Maharashtra, compare the rock types. So these are all the questions you, you have to solve. So solve the questions and show to your class teacher. Okay, children, in this way, the meeting is going to be over. Okay. Uh, if there is any doubt, you can ask within 30 seconds. After that, meeting will be over. Is there any doubt in this lesson? Okay, I think there is no doubt. So uh, I so that's all here in today's meeting.
so in next meeting we'll see uh, other lesson okay so goodbye children